When dynamically building a select list and needing to select a specific item, as when doing server-side validation and maintaining stickiness, the process is not difficult, but the logic can be daunting. This video shows how to implement this process. As you can see, the creation of the select list using PHP and HTML markup currently exists in a controller. The HTML is stored in a single variable and then echoed when the view is included into the controller scope. This code must be altered when desiring stickiness as a result of server-side validation. Step 1 is to leave the function call and to get the raw data from the database, using a model-based function and storing it into a variable as an array. Step 2 is to select the code used to build the select list, copy it, then comment it out in the controller for now. Step 3. Open the view where the select will be used, create a PHP code block at the top of the view, and paste the copied code into the code block. In this video, it is in an add vehicle view. It is absolutely critical that no empty spaces or blank lines exist between the PHP code block and the HTML doc type declaration. If any spaces exist, an error will occur. Once the code is in place, we will do some editing to that code. There is an existing for each loop. Move inside of it and break the existing code into two separate strings. The first string builds the option element through the declaration of the value attribute. The second string will contain the greater than symbol to close the opening option tag, then displaying text, and then the closing option tag. We will create space between the two strings for two separate if tests. The first if checks to see if a variable exists that will contain the value of a particular option within the select list. If the result is true, then the second if checks to see if the variable holding the value matches the item that is present in that particular instance of the for each loop's progress through the array of elements. If the result of the match is true, then the HTML selected attribute is added to the opening option tag. It is important to note the spaces around the selected attribute. The spaces ensure the attributes in the opening tag are separated from one another. By implementing this process, if server-side validation returns a value for the select list, that particular value is shown as being the selected item in the list when the HTML form is displayed in the browser, as shown in this video. I hope this short video helps you see how a select list item can maintain its selection during the validation process when the list is dynamically generated.